Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik. Now, Movie Magic Budgeting 7 is finally out. And one of the features that we introduced during the public beta was the applied credit feature. Now, based on user feedback, we made some major overhauls to how that feature works. So major, that it's going to take three parts to go over all of it. So, let's start with part one. I'm going to show you how to use the interface and some of the basics of applying a credit to your budget. Okay, so to create an, an instance of the applied credit, you have to be on the top sheet of your budget. And you can create a new instance by either pressing this Apply a Credit button up in the toolbar here, or you can right-click on any of the row numbers and select Apply a Credit. And it'll create a new window for the applied credits. Now, uh, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger here. And let me describe some of the uh, interface here. One of the first things you should notice here is up at the top we have a link to productionincentives.com and that's a great resource for finding out all the latest information of uh, different uh, incentives in states and countries around the world. So one of the first things you're going to do with this apply credit window is name it. So I'm just going to put in a name here. I'm going to just call it tax credit. And I'm going to explain the credit caps, the account numbers, and discount percentage later. I'm going to jump right down to sort of the meat of what makes up this credit uh, down here at the bottom. And there's four different buttons. Include amount, which you can include uh, a flat amount into the credit. Include a group, which allows you to select a group, and I'll show that in a second. Exclude fringes, which allows you to select which fringes to exclude from this credit and delete, which will delete a specific row down here. I'll show you that a little bit later. So the easiest way to get started with the applied credit is to just select in include group. And that's if you've uh, tagged specific detail lines into a, into a group, which I've done already. And I've called specific detail lines. I've tagged them with qualified spend. And so I'm going to select that group and click OK. And it brings that group in and gives it the name qualified spend. And you can even add a further description here if you'd like. Uh, but as you can see here, brought over the gross total. If you exclude any fringes, it'll put those exclude fringes here and give you a net total. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone for right now. And the cap and the cap type, I'm going to explain in part two. So look for part two if you want a better explanation of how the cap type works. But for a very simple tax credit, let's just say uh, in this specific locale, for this qualified spend, you're going to earn 20% back. So I'm going to put 20 in the percentage, and it'll calculate the 20%. Now, I can include other groups also. So let's say for local labor, labor, you get a different percentage on local labor. I'm going to include that group by clicking OK. And for this one, I'm going to put 25%. And it gives a different calculation and a different credit. And so you can see the different lines and the total of the credit you're getting so far. Now, if I click OK, I've just created a new tax credit down here. And as you can see, it's below the grand total. So you've got your grand total here, your tax credit, and then the net total below that. So if I wanted to open this up again, I would just double click that line and it brings up that information uh, again. I'm going to click OK to close it. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is if you hit the CR or Apply a Credit button again, it creates a new instance because you can have as many instances of the Apply Credits if you want. Uh, let's say you're shooting different locales that have different uh, rules and regulations. You can create the different credits. Um, but I just have this one for now, so if I want to go in and edit it, again, I can just double click that line and change any information that I want. So that's just the introduction to the Apply Credit feature. Stay tuned for part two. Also, we'd love to hear your feedback on this feature, so send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to stop by entertainmentpartners.com and check out the community section. There you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or even subscribe to us on YouTube where we'll be adding new videos every week. Thanks for watching.